today's video i'm going to be giving you an in-depth view of this chunky monkey what i pack in it how i pack it and why i pack it um somewhere on the side i'll show you a detailed view while we're talking about what's actually in this again this is not my carry-on bag other than my carry-on bag i do travel with this I am a chronic overpacker and I do not care because when we travel, I never really, need, never really need to go to the store for anything. So I'm okay with being an overpacker. I'm going to be doing kind of a what's in my bag type of situation but it's not my handbag it is going to be my travel backpack not to be confused with a carry-on this is the other item other than the carry-on if that makes sense so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it I absolutely adore this bag I got it off of Amazon Black Friday of last year not last year the year before last year I used to be one of those People that like to have the cute little, you know, tote bag with one shoulder. But with all the stuff that I pack, it was getting to be a bit much. Like, a bit much. My shoulder used to be killing me by the time I get on the plane. I pack so much stuff. Just to show you, I'm not playing all the stuff in here. Like I said, we're going to go through it. And I'm going to show you why I pack what I pack. First things first, let's do the outside. Let me zip this back up. Outside pockets. This pocket right here. I always pack in here any kind of thing that I want to wipe down my seat with and my tray. It is super important, even before the cooties outbreak, to wipe down everything. They only usually clean those seats, like really spray and wipe them down once a month. And if you think about how many people are on these flights, that's really gross. So I usually take the wet ones, antibacterial wipes. And sometimes, I know on American Airline and um, what's the other one we take? United, do we take United, babe? This is Tony, by the way, that little blue hat. And what's the other one I just said, American Airlines? Alaska? Thank you. Extra. No. Anyway, <sighs> on those flights, the flight attendants sometimes pass out these little wipes to do exactly that, it's very important to wipe off your seat, the belt buckle, the tray, and the handle it takes to, you know, get the tray, your armrest, and I even do the little air vent thing just because they don't be cleaning nothing. I also have a little, always have a little alcohol wipe, but that's usually right here. Before I sit anything down, I just reach in my backpack and start wiping my seat down and Tony's seat down while she handles putting up the carry-on luggage. The next compartment, which is this one here, is usually where I have my personal items. It flips open and there's these little slots. As you can see, I normally have a pin here, but I haven't decided which one I'm gonna bring. This first slot, I usually always have my compact mirror. This slot, splot. This spot is usually where I have any kind of like gift cards. If I know we're gonna go to certain restaurants or something like that, I'll put those here. And also the tabs, if we check any bags, the little tabs that they give you, I'll put them here as well. Also, when we do, we park at a garage, that slip will also go here. The big slip across is usually where I carry my travel wallet. I'll have a hand sanitizer. And this little thing is, Supposed to be for coins, but I don't really carry coins. I'll just have my lip products. I have always have a gloss. This is my night treatment uh, for my lips and just a regular schmegular chapstick. I know I'm extra, but the lips is always, is always nice. I like to keep everything contained. I just put it in there. Don't even have to think about it. These are also nine times out of 10, everything that's in here, I usually have in my purse. Now I'm getting into the main compartment. A lot of these I will split screen it or I will show you in detail what I have in it because I'm a compartmentalist. Usually my bag is full with a lot of different little bags. 
if that makes sense. It just makes my life easier. And I think that you should just do what's best for you and how you organize and how it's easy for you to pack. This is my version. So the first thing I pull out are gloves. We are going somewhere where it's very cold, possibly might snow. So Tony bought us these. I think she bought these in Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these gloves that lock in warmth. Definitely gonna need this. I do not like the cold. The next thing I pull out is this little case. I think it's a purse that I got in my subscription box from Lizzie and Liv. I use this to put all of my electronic chargers. I travel with noise canceling hair, uh, hair phones earphones i usually have my cell phone i usually have my ipad all of those things need to be charged so instead of just having wires and cords all over my bag i just put them all in this they're all contained i know before we leave the hotel room to check this bag to make sure i have everything it's just easy peasy that way my snack bag this is just my favorite one of my favorite chips this, this is just for me but i have snack bags i am one of those people that don't like to buy things at the airport just because they're super overpriced and expensive. So I am an old, I will admit it, and I travel with snacks. Also in the hotel rooms and stuff like that, when you get the munchies, you wanna nibble on something. The little supermarket or stands that they have in hotel rooms, completely overpriced. We always have this. So this is my snacks as well as my spouse's for the hotel and to and from our destination always have that our eyeglasses i normally don't travel with the cases for these glasses i don't know why i should but i normally don't but i just got some prescription sunglasses these are so fly y'all and this case is really big so i checked it and it fits both of my glasses so i will be starting to travel with this so my glasses just don't get scratched up Ugh, let me show you this next compartment that has a little slip is where I keep my iPad. Normally when I have my iPad and laptop, my laptop will go in here and the iPad will float. But since I'm just going for pleasure, this is probably gonna be just my entertainment on the flight, you know, download some movies. But that goes there. You flip it around. Now this case has zipped up. What I normally have in here is any jewelry that I'm traveling with. Never, never, ever pack your jewelry or like electronical items and things that you're going to check because if they lost, I know you want to think everybody's honest, but then people's going through your bags. Okay? Half the time that stuff's not lost. They took your stuff. So things like any jewelry, I just, you know, save these little jewelry bags. That's in there. It's always a chapstick. And um, that's about it. I'll probably, if I'm not gonna be wearing my eye watch, it'll probably be in there too, but anything super valuable, I just want it inside on me in a zipped up compartment. The next two compartments is a slip, slip pocket. I will sometimes put my phone there and always in this compartment, I will have some kind of either headband or hair tie since I have braids, a hair tie and some lotion. Certain things you'll see me repeat just because sometimes I have to share with my spouse also because I can't bring a big old bottle of lotion. So I'll probably bring two or three little ones, if that makes sense. We're going somewhere cold and I do not want to be ashy. Let me pick this up again, y'all. This is so heavy. But on each side of my backpack, there's a little mesh compartment. I don't know if you can see that. On the left side, I have smell good spray this is you're the one by bath and body works body mist i always have tissue and these are just my wash rags i am weird i don't like to use the hotel towels don't know why i just don't so i will pack my own drying and washcloths the next mess compartment i always have two ziploc bags just in case my spouse brings back like any beverages or something like that that we need to pack stuff like that so just in case I always have two Ziploc bags. Also, if I'm bringing home any food or candy or something like that, put it in here. This is my pharmacy bag. Now I have Motrin, Tylenol, Benadryl. What is this? Now I have Airborne. I have Band-Aids, I have throat sucrets. I have two different kinds of those. 
I also have Hydrate Mate, which is like a liquid IV. If you have adult beverages and you don't want a hangover, I have Band-Aids and alcohol swabs. All in here, just in case anything happens, if we don't feel good, we have it here. We don't have to run out to the store. And last thing I have in the mesh compartment is the last two things I have in here. Is this is where I keep all of my makeup and skincare items. And this is usually my bathroom toiletry items in here. And that's the last thing I have in here. So, and this is the bulk of where everything is. And this is why my backpack is so daggone oh, heavy. This little container I got from the Yankees candle store. Like, you know, when you spend X amount of money, they'll give you like little gifts. So I got this. This looks small, but it carries a crap load of stuff and I stuff it look can't even really open it so like I said I always keep more than one thing of, of lotion and chapsticks just because that's just how I am so I have this Shea Moisture 48 hour lotion travel size and I also have Dr. Teal's body lotion coconut oil essential oils coconut butter shea butter and vitamin E I need to find this in the biggest container I can because I adore this but when we travel, I'm packing um, a purse. This will usually go in my purse and this will stay in the hotel room. I have my deodorant because I can't be caught funky. And I love the secret brand. I have these disposable, what are they called? Shower caps. I'm sorry, my mind went blank. I pack enough for me and my spouse. So that's why there's so many. I have a razor, travel size toothpaste, and we usually use the Crest 3D whitening. Probably have to pack my other ones. This is pretty much normal. I always have a hand sanitizer. I have my uh, cotton rounds and Q-tip. I have my travel toothbrush. And I always have body gel. This is a thousand wishes. I have the body gel and the matching spray from Bath & Body Works. And I just have my warm brown sugar spray. I usually don't like the hotel soap. Like it's usually really watery. And in this little plastic bag, I have my toner that I use on a daily basis when I wash my face and my tea tree oil face wash. And that's everything that was in here. It looks small, but this bag carries a lot. This is where I keep all my makeup and skincare. It's so heavy, y'all. Now, I will say this bag is probably overpacked just because I don't know how to do makeup. So I just throw a whole bunch of stuff in here and hope that I have stuff that match because I'm struggling when it comes to makeup. But the first thing I have is my edge brush. Also, I got this from Lizzie and Liv in one of their boxes. This brush is really cool just because it's soft and hard at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. But even though I have braids, you want to brush back the baby hairs and fly away. So this is perfect. Then I have my Trader Joe's Nourish Antioxidant Facial Serum for all skin types. This is really just a nice moisturizer I put on after I tone my face. It lasts forever and it's makeup remover. I have my e.l.f. setting spray. And yes, I'm sticking with e.l.f. until I know what I'm doing with my makeup and then we'll upgrade. But for now, e.l.f. is just fine. Put my brushes in this little bag. I just purchased this one. It's like a blending, yeah, blending brush from CVS. I got this, the e.l.f. brand. Again, I'll upgrade tools when I know what I'm doing, but until then, while I'm still in the preschool version of makeup, these are just fine. So I have like, you know, the basic brushes. I have my brow setter and the gel eyelash curler. Then I have all of my lip liners, my eyeliner and my three lip liners. Then in this little bag, I usually have all of my lipsticks and things like that so my liquid lipsticks this is my favorite which is the butter gloss and this is what color is this praline i usually rock this all the time when we go out simple little bit of gloss not too much i also like their matte lip cream by nyx and this is madam a nice dark red which i think red looks really good on melanin skin and then i got my dose of colors Shout out to Dose of Colors because it's very affordable, but it looks so fancy. So this is going to be my red look, my red lips. I'm going to probably rock this on my birthday. And then I have um, just a nice gloss. It looks like it's a shimmer in there. And it is a little bit shimmer, but it's not glitter. I hate glitter 
makeup but this is nice to go over a lipstick or just wear in its own if you want a little bit of shine and another little nude like an everyday color and then i have a sephora lip gloss again looks like glitter it's just a little bit of shimmer in it but it goes on clear a um coconut aloha chapstick and normally i'll just put this on before like while i'm doing my makeup before i put on my lipstick because i don't want my lips to dry out so if you can see like <laughs> it looks gross but it's always because I put it on with my lipstick. That is a little secret I did learn. Well, watching people do their uh, lipsticks, you always wanna hydrate your lips first so they won't end up looking crusty in like 15 minutes then putting on your lipstick. Um, are my palettes, which are the best way if you're like me and you're building up your makeup. Palettes are the way to go because you get probably about six or seven different co colors in Sorry, you'll get six or seven colors in one palette opposed to just buying, you know, each one. So the first one I got is Cutting Edge by Dose of Color. My favorite color is green. So when I saw this, I had to order it. And about three of my outfits that I'm bringing with us on this current trip are green. So this will work perfect. These colors are so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this. And then when I went to CVS the other day, I've never heard of this brand. It's called um, Essence. So this is the Bonjour pal eyeshadow palette. Mm, looks like this. Let me cover up the mirror. And here are the shades. I got this because there was a lot of matte as well as shimmer. And these are colors that I would generate or gravitate towards. Not really super bright. Not really super like... I'm more of a very subtle color. The colors I wear are usually green, gray, black, and cream, and tan, so none extra, but definitely brought the palettes. And this is just like everything else miscellaneous that I can just think of bringing. Um, again, two more palettes, very neutral colors. This is usually all the stuff I wear. Those are by e.l.f. I got this Essence, the same people that made that palette, this pretty highlighter and blush. I love highlighters. I thought that was very cute. Is a highlighter by e.l.f. that I normally use. Got some mascara. Is some blush from NYX. Here is the Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Base that I use by NYX. And these are just what I use to line my brows. And these are the e.l.f. These I'll probably always use because you can't beat the price and they work really good. There's like this little compartment. I just have tissues. Um, sometimes alcohol swabs if I need to clean up anything on my face. But yeah, this is the bulk of where the heaviness comes from. All of the makeup I bring. I don't mean to bring a lot, but when you don't know what you're doing with your makeup, you honestly don't know what you'll need. So you just bring everything in the hopes that you pull off a look. So that was everything that is in my travel backpack. I know it is a lot. However, these are things that I would, it would be a hard time replacing. Like, all my electronics usually go in my travel backpack, jewelry, uh, you know, wallet, documents, stuff like that. And then plus when I travel like this and pack all this crap in my travel backpack, it leaves me ample space in my actual travel um, carry-on case. Nine times out of ten when me and my spouse travel, we like to just travel with our carry-ons. That way we don't have to wait for luggage. There's no possibility of them losing your luggage. So when we can, we just like to do that. You know, one stop shopping, we're on and off the plane. It just works out way better than what I used to do with my tote bag because I literally would only pack probably my snacks, my laptop, maybe a magazine. Like, I couldn't pack that much because it was basically a big purse. Let's say that. But this, ciao. So, anyway, hope you like this video. If you like videos like this, organization, things of that nature, there's always a playlist for you. Go ahead and check it out. It's in the description box below. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. It helps me know to keep filming videos like this. And it also helps YouTube push out my videos. So I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys. Bye.